What is up, X? What is up, Facebook? What is up, every other platform that is not YouTube? I am here to expose YouTube as a brand and as a company. YouTube is a lie. It is a scam. The reason why I say it is a scam and is a lie and why you should not trust YouTube as a company is because of this. If you guys don't know my story, for the last seven years, I have been harassed, attacked, and bullied. And just recently, a YouTube staff member heard about what was going on and reached out. And amidst talking to this YouTube staff member, some shit went down. Yeah, some shit went down. Big time. I found out some shit. I found out that YouTube is a bunch of liars. They say that they support YouTubers and their merchandise shops, but I also found out they actually don't. They say that they do support outside merchandise shops. They claim to support YouTubers and their merchandise shops and their sponsors, but really it's all a fucking lie. They really only want YouTubers to make money directly off of them. YouTube is a fucking scam. They don't want any YouTuber making any kind of money outside of their platform. It don't matter whether it's a sponsorship. It does not matter whether it's a merchandise shop. They don't care. According to YouTube staff, they say, oh, we support this and that. No, the fuck you guys don't. If you guys actually supported that, then why is it that y'all said that you wouldn't do anything to help me out and make sure and, you know, to, you know, back up the fact that my merchandise shops keep getting shut down and why is it that y'all were like, hey, we can't do anything because it's outside of YouTube. And here's where the, con there, here's where the contradictory really kicks into play. If you guys really were against what you say or what you told me, then you would have to get rid of every single YouTuber on the face of your platform. You want to know why? Because every fucking single YouTuber, it doesn't matter whether it's Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, PewDiePie, SS Sniper Wolf, Smosh, Gray Still Plays. There's a whole lot of fucking major ass YouTubers out there that make money off of merchandise. Matter of fact, I can guarantee you right now without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, that 99.9, .9, if not 100% of your content creators make money off of two things. Ad revenue and merchandise sales. Off of separate shops that are not on YouTube. So yeah, YouTube, I'm calling you on your fucking bullshit. You guys are liars. You guys are scam artists. And everything you say contradicts yourselves. You're contradicting your fucking selves. By sitting there saying, oh, we support YouTube content creators. We support them having their shops. 
and then you turn around and tell me that oh we don't we don't support shops outside of YouTube. Which is it? Do you support YouTube or do you not or do you do you support shops or do you not support shops? Do you support creators doing what they need to do to make money or do you not support it? You can't have both motherfuckers. It's either one or the other. Either you support it or you don't. Either you're with it or you ain't. Because like I said, 99.9% .9 if not 100% of all YouTubers make money off of two things. Ad revenue and merchandise sales. Don't believe me? Do your fucking research, motherfuckers. And stop lying to your fucking people. Stop lying to the people that bring you in the fucking money. Stop lying to the creators and the people that are out here busting their fucking asses to make a living on your fucking platform. You guys are lying to your people and it's not cool. Stop with the fucking lies, motherfuckers. Because let me tell you right now. If I don't haul you into court for the shit y'all are doing to me, by fucking me over, and not doing what y'all should be doing, well, guess what? Someone down the line will. Someone down the line will be doing something about it. So if I was you, I'd get my shit together. I'd figure out what's going on real fast. Because I'm say there's two reasons why your content creators are leaving. Because of the troll shit that you guys got going on. Because of the troll outbreak and the cyberbullying. Which is something that y'all need to get a fucking handle on quick before it gets out of control. And second off, you saying they're lying to your content creators. And y'all wonder why I do not support YouTube? I have nothing wrong with the staff members that are helping me to put an end to the troll shit. I have no problem with them at all. Matter of fact, I'm very appreciative of that. But what I cannot stand, and I will not stand for, and what I will never get behind... As a content creator. As you guys. Lying to your content creators. Saying one thing. And then turning around. And telling people like me. That are smaller content creators. Another thing. I mean, which is it? Do you support merchandise shops. Or do you not? Take your pick. Which is it? That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how YouTube are scam artists. They want you to believe that they support merchandise shops outside of YouTube, but yet, when you reach out to a staff member, they tell you something completely different. So, if I was you guys, I'd start rallying together. And I'd start hauling YouTube in the fucking courts. And I mean haul them into court as much as you can. It's time YouTube was held responsible for what's going on on their platform. Not just lying to their people. But the fact that they're allowing the garbage ass content that's ruining the platform. To be on the platform. And the fact that they're sitting there saying, oh, we have to have physical, tangible evidence when there's evidence all over the fucking place. You don't need physical fucking evidence. There's video evidence, there's audio evidence, and there's photo evidence. That I myself and several other YouTubers 
have sent you with their issues about this troll pandemic. These trolls are literally fucking killing people. For fun. For kicks. For laughs. For views. For money. And if you ask me, I'd say it's time that somebody made YouTube pay for their actions. I'd say it's time YouTube was held responsible for what's going on on their platform. The fact that they let machines run their shit instead of hiring extra hands and real ass people to actually look through the content and actually investigate the shit that's going on. They'd rather be lazy and let robots do all the work, which is why so many good people get fucked over. So many good content creators get fucked over because YouTube does not fucking care about its creators. If they did, they would have human people reviewing each and every single video that gets put through. A human needs to look at it, not a fucking machine. A machine can't look at a video and go, oh, th this is bad. A machine can't look at a video and take the context of the video and investigate it and be like, okay, what did this person mean by this? What did this person mean by what they said? A machine can't do that. A human can. So therefore, I am withdrawing my full support for YouTube. I will no longer support YouTube. I will continue to call them out. And I will continue to whistle blow them. And I will continue to make sure that they are being held responsible for what's going on. Yes, too many people have died because of trolling and bullying. Two years ago, I was almost one of those people. It's time YouTube was held responsible for what's going on on their platform, people. Because not only are they lying to you, they're allowing garbage content that, bull that promotes bullying and harassment for views and for money. And they allow this kind of content. And it's time that us as a collective, us as content creators, I think it's time we fucking stood up and we said something. Because I'm honestly tired of seeing good content creators getting fucked over. Good people getting screwed over. Because YouTube wants to be lazy and put machines in in replacement of human beings. I'm sorry, but you can't replace a human being with a fucking machine. A machine isn't going to be able to tell you the context of a video fully and tell you what's right and what's wrong. A human will be able to sit there and look at an actual video, study it, go into that person's channel, look at their videos, study the subject they're speaking about, go look at that subject, and be like, okay, based off of this and this and this, what they mentioned in their video, they're either in the right or they're in the wrong. A machine will never be able to do that. If you pay attention, let's talk about Therefore, I, as a content creator, am pulling my support for YouTube and am pushing for YouTube to be sued and for YouTube to be held responsible for what's going on on their platform.